This is an ad for Nickelodeon. Hi everyone, it's Akila. Welcome or welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be playing the new Nickelodeon Roblox experience, Nickverse. Nickelodeon just launched Nickverse on Roblox and I'm one of the first players to get to experience this new world while it's still in beta. They have tons of surprises coming soon and Nickverse will be linked in my description box down below. Make sure you go and play it. I actually got to play Nick first with some Akilinators. We did it on a live stream, which you can still go watch over on Ruckus's channel. It was so much fun, and if you had the opportunity to join, thanks for coming. We got to check out the Kids' Choice Awards event happening right now in-game to vote with Slime, play games, and collect exclusive swag. Before we run down the orange carpet past all of our favorite Nickelodeon characters, let's go ahead and check out everything in the GUI. First off, we have all of the really fun quests that you can complete that keep the game super interesting. Then we have our backpack and everything that you buy, like your cars, your jellyfish nets, your hang gliders, will be here. There's also a button at the top to teleport straight to the neighborhood. The smiley face icon are for all the really awesome dance emotes. And I got to dance with you guys on the live. I'm going to bust out my dance moves right now. Oh, oh, doing the splits. That must be a custom emote because I don't have that one. You also get your very own Nickelodeon hoverboard that you can use to travel around Nickverse faster and in style. There's also a net that you can use on Spongebob Island and Jellyfish Fields for a really cool mini game. And last, but definitely not least, a Slime Blaster! We finally made it to the Kids' Choice Awards dance party, and there's actually a live countdown to the Kids' Choice Awards, so that's exciting! I hope you're as excited as I am to watch the biggest, slimiest night of the year, the Kids' Choice Awards on Saturday, April 9th. A really, really big part of the Kids' Choice Awards is voting. You can actually vote in-game for your favorite social music star. You can take out your slime blaster and aim at the targets for the person that you want to vote for. I voted Jojo Siwa and that girl Lele. Running low on slime? That's okay because you can refill your slime blasters in areas just like this one. While we're at it, there's a lot of targets scattered around the entire map. And all you have to do is slime the targets and it's a really easy way to get coins. Just make sure you go collect them. Uh-oh, looks like I'm covered in slime. But that's okay because slime actually makes you run faster and jump higher. You basically have superpowers. There are a lot of portals that we can take, but we're gonna go ahead and hop into this one to get to the neighborhood. This is what my house looks like. As you can see, it's right behind me. But there are so many other options and some of them are even free. Once you're inside, you have the ability to edit your house and also lock it so no one else can come in. You can also shop for stylish furniture and decorations. I just moved in, so this is what my little bedroom looks like so far. But the good thing about these houses is that there is so much space to work with. In the center of the neighborhood, there's three portals. So this one over here is how you get back to the Nickelodeon hub. Over here is how you get to the Avatar world. And the last one, let's run all the way over here. This is how we get to SpongeBob World. You can also buy a vehicle and we can go on the racetrack later. So you can open the shop and we have a lot of free cars. I have this one, the blue one. Who wants to match with me? Let's see the other options. We have a pretty long drive ahead of us, but there's gonna be a lot of cool stuff to do on SpongeBob Island. We're in SpongeBob World, and my favorite game is definitely the Krusty Krab one, but during the live stream, we actually played the jellyfishing mini game. Make sure you grab your jellyfish net, which is number three in the GUI and you can talk to SpongeBob. As you can see, I've already completed a lot of the quests. So yeah, but we can catch some jellyfish and then you can trade them, which I'll show you in a second. 
It's a pretty easy way to get coins, if you ask me. I have to upgrade my capacity, but let's run over here. Oh, okay. Yes, I can catch 15. But look, if we open the shop, you can upgrade your jellyfish net too. And you can get coins or jelly. I hope you enjoyed that clip. Now let's go inside the Krusty Krab. We're inside and there's Squidward working the cash register, but you have to interact with Mr. Krabs to play the Krusty Krab game. So let's do that. This is the Fry Cook Challenge. It's SpongeBob's one day off and Mr. Krabs needs our help to feed his customers. You can choose single player or multiplayer. I'm gonna choose single player. We're here at station one and we have a lot of orders to fill. So this is where we have to start chopping all of the veggies that are gonna go on the Krabby Patties. Now we have to run over to station two where we have to actually fry the patties. Once they turn brown, you just drag them over to the side. Station three is the assembly line. You take the orders from the top left. We have a bottom bun. We need to add ketchup, a patty, some veggies, and the top bun. We have to be quick, I almost messed up. Okay, bun, ketchup, patty, done. Bun, ketchup, patty, veggies, top bun. Okay, we're actually doing really well. Bun, cheese, ketchup, patty, veggies, and the top bun. I've been making these burgers forever. We only have about 10 seconds left. We ran out of patties, so I'm just gonna let the time go down. Yay, I won! And I actually got paid 1,440 coins. So it's a really good job. Okay, okay, we have spent a lot of time in SpongeBob World, but we can't forget about Avatar World. There's a really awesome hang gliding game. Let's wait for everyone. I'm gonna get on my hoverboard again. I'm gonna I'm gonna slime some people with my slime blaster. There's another mini game we can play too. This way, this way. I think it's this way, where the where the sign is leading us. Okay, let's go up. Let's go up more. It's pretty high up. So you can buy gliders over here if you want to. And then if you talk to him, we have the gliding mini game. So it says activate the glider by holding the jump button while you're still in the air. And then glide through all the rings and get a mystery reward. Who doesn't love rewards? Each time you complete the game, a harder route will appear. Can you beat them all? Ready? Okay, let's let's go. Oh, I missed it, I missed it. Okay, you kind of have to circle around it because they get lower and lower. Am I gonna make it? Am I gonna make it? Am I gonna, am I, excuse me? I did it, yes, quest completed. Yeah, so you can do a, a mini game with him. I have to come back in eight hours, but you have to get the cabbages. So basically you have to get slimed, right? And then you run over here. So you jump over them and then you press Q. And then they'll all fly around and then you collect them and then you go and return them. So he can make dumplings. And I was super happy that you guys got to experience it too. We got to do this together. And it was so much fun. I'm so happy I could play with all of you. Okay, everyone. Well, that is going to be it for this video. Check out the Kids' Choice Awards event in the new Nick First World on Roblox. You can find the link in my description box. And watch the Kids' Choice Awards Saturday, April 9th at 7.30, 6.30 Central on Nickelodeon. Do not forget to leave a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. Once you are subscribed, click the bell button so you get notified whenever I post a video. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Shadows way too long. You always thought that you were weak, but babe, you're wrong.